Dark Cloud. Hey everyone, I'm Laurentio, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Dark Cloud games on the PS2. There are two games, so don't be surprised that there are only two, and I say that the video is about all of the games. These two are all of them. Okay, so Dark Cloud is a tough game. In this dungeon crawler, you won't be swinging through enemies as easy as in other games. Enemies are smart, they dodge, block and attack you back in unpredictable patterns. Even bats fly higher than your sword swing. They can even poison you and what is worse is that the poison effect doesn't go away after the battle is over. The poison effect goes away after you take a potion for it. And this is pretty annoying considering how many bats there are. You need to take a potion after almost every battle if you have the same skills as me. And as I said, enemies are smart, you can't learn their attack patterns. You can learn only how to counter their attacks. You need good reflexes in the game. And enemies are plenty, some of them are recycled, but this doesn't hinder my argument. The wiki article of the game lists around 95 different monsters, so you can guess how many attack patterns you can get from that huge amount of them, from that huge number. But at least you have an advantage too. Not only that enemies are plenty, but you are plenty too. There are 6 playable characters in the game, which you can switch whenever you want. Some are better at close range combat, others are better from a distance. And this gives you another layer of strategy. But even if you play as a ranged character, the game is still tough. When you press the button to fire the slingshot, for example, the character stops. You can move until you fire your shot, and the closer you are when you fire, the bigger the damage. If you are very far, you can even give only one point of damage, which is almost useless. But the weapon system is annoying in my opinion. You can level up a weapon, but if you use the weapon too much, it will break permanently. So the best strategy is constantly switching weapons and when you encounter a really tough enemy, you pull out your weapon with the highest level and hope that it won't break mid battle. You can also equip runes to your weapons to make them more efficient against certain types of enemies. And as for another interesting but annoying aspect of the game, in order to exit a dungeon, you need to find the key. One of the enemies has the key. And since there's a hundred enemies in the game, and the game also randomly generates enemies, you have no idea who has the key. Which means that you'll have to fight randomly generated enemies until one of them drops the key. Some find this aspect good, but for me it's just annoying. And this is not the only bad thing about the level designs. Spaces are too big and empty. And it takes you a lot to go through everything and it feels like it takes you even more to pass through the dungeons since the spaces are so empty. And aside of the combat in the dungeons, you also create towns with items you find in the dungeons. That part of the game is relaxing. As for the other game, in Dark Cloud 2, you don't get to play as 6 characters anymore. Instead, you play as 2 characters. Max, which has a range for swing attacks and a gun for ranged attacks, and Monica, which has a sword, which is way better to use in combat as the sword is faster than Max's range. The sword also does more damage, and Monica also has a bracelet used for ranged attacks. She's preferred when in combat, as she's faster, has better attacks, and deals more damage. Also, each character has a transformation. Max has a big steampunk robot and Monica can turn into a monster. But judging on how hard it is to transform Max into the big steampunk robot that one-shots everything, it's more convenient to play with Monica and never use the almost useless monster states she has. As for the gameplay, it's similar to the first game. You have to find the key on the randomly generated enemy. This time the game has more layers. You get time challenges like complete the level in the X amount of time or beat the X amount of enemies with Monica's monster ability. They are optional, but if you want to challenge yourself, you have those too. Also returning from the other game is the village building. Only this time, to fully unlock stuff, 
you need to run errands for people. You need settlers for the village and in order to convince the settler to inhabit your village, you need to run errands for them. As for the rest of the gameplay, the game mechanics are pretty similar to the first game. Also the games are pretty long and there seems to be a strong community that praises the games. So if you liked what I told you about the games, try them out. Some call the games or at least Dark Cloud 2, some call it a masterpiece and one of the best PS2 games out there. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section, you will help me a lot. If you want you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord and if you want to see another video of mine just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.